what kind of career options are available for people like yourself who don't really have any management or managerial experience? So best, one of the best part of uh, doing project management was Hi everyone, I am Adish Rampal and I'm from India and I'm an international student in Toronto, Canada. I moved here last year in October. I came here in COVID and uh, my education background is I am from mechanical engineering and after that I have uh, pursued my project management in Canada and now I am in international business management. And I have worked with Honda cars in sales and marketing and I have worked with uh, eClub services as a business analyst as well. All right, uh, Adish, thank you so much for your introduction. So to start off, my first question is, why did you choose to opt for project management considering that it was one year program and you were coming after completing BTEC in mechanical engineering? Um, so first of all, um, after completing my engineering in mechanical, I, I was looking up for a job for about two years in my core field. That's, I think that's one thing that everyone is looking for when they graduate from mechanical engineering. Mm -hmm. But uh, when, when you go out in the market, everyone is like, you need at least three years of experience to actually work in your core, core field. So the kind of jobs that, that were offered to me were technical sales and uh, that I didn't want to do for quite some time. And that's why I got a job in my eCloud services as a business analyst. After some time, I realized that's not for me. And then the, the jobs I got for mechanical engineering they did not actually pay much because I belong from North India. So I were offered jobs in South for the price of like 12K and 15K. It, it's not worth it. I mean, I will be spending more there for my rents and my food and travel and many more things than what I'll be earning. And that's when I decided that for some time I'll gain experience in sales and marketing and then I opted for project management considering that it would be easier for me to get into a core field organization mm -hmm. that I can go on a managerial post having the knowledge of it because uh, they won't ask me to operate on machines but I'll have knowledge about it and Talking about project management for one year, I chose it because that program in Canada, our one academic year is like eight months. So that's why I chose a one year program and it was project management. Again, it has a wide scope, new organizations are coming up with various number of, oh, sorry, various projects and uh, they need project managers for, for that. So that is the reason I chose project management because I also wanted a plan B that if I am not able to get a job in mechanical engineering core field, I can at least go in any other field. Like banks are coming up with various projects. ITs are doing great projects. Construction projects. Everything is about projects these days. So that is the reason I opt for. And I knew I wanted a three year work permit. So I took one year program and then I'll, I took another program that which is international business management. I, I think I told in my introduction. So that way I can graduate of for two years within 16 months. Whereas if I take a program of two years, I graduate after 20 months. Mm -hmm. So that was my uh, reason that why I chose one year program rather than taking two. Wonderful. I know that all uh, makes sense and uh, we will definitely talk about the international business management in the next video and we will find out the reason why did you club uh, the project management with the business management. So yeah, that's for the next time. So Adish, uh, as we know, project management is so far one of the most popular uh, PGDM programs. Uh, so what do you think is the scope after completing the program? Uh, like what kind of career options are available for people like yourself who don't really have any management or manager 
real experience. So best, one of the best part of uh, doing project management was the thing I knew was uh, it will get me the basic or intermediate level managerial post after completing this because now I have education to that and a little bit of experience of it because of my program because they had organized it so well that you get actually get a chance to be a leader in some projects and they make it sure that you take up the rules of managing the projects and some other aspects as well so that that was a, one of the reasons why i took project management so i'm not saying you will directly get a job of project manager that's not possible if you don't have experience that is not going to happen let me break it for all the viewers who do not have experience in managerial jobs that is a truth that they should be aware of mm -hmm. and uh, but they can get into intermediate jobs so the jobs like business analyst it's a wide range of uh, job that a lot of people really want to get into and it's booming since i think 2017 from the time i graduated from mechanical engineering and uh, junior analyst if you don't have I totally no experience about what business analyst is all about then you can be a junior analyst and uh, you get project analyst or project junior analyst job profiles then comes the project schedule manager or junior coordinators then comes if you have a cap m then you, you can get into assistant project manager job might be a tough one but you can actually get it in. I mean, if you have the potential, you can convince your employer that you got it. I mean, in Canada, everything is possible. You just need to sell yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. So you mentioned about the like positions, uh, which are great, like you know, junior project management, assistant project management. But what kind of industries would you be targeting? Like, you know, do you like to go for banking, you know, IT or? Yes, that's, that's one of the aspects I wanted to talk about too. <clears throat> Thanks for reminding me uh, with that question. Uh, it's like, uh, I really want to go into mechanical, just like I said it before. I want to go into mechanical engineering field. But if that, that, if that doesn't work out, I have a number of options. Banking is a huge area right now. They have so many projects. You have different projects in insurance, in uh, investment plans and uh, health insurances, so many things. And they are all over the place now. I mean, they are into houses, they are into cars, they are into everywhere. I mean, they, they have it all. They, it's a whole package. You can actually go into any industry in that. Then you can also go into telecommunication. In, uh, in Canada, I mean, a few days back when I was, I, I, I was in second semester, I think a few months back, and uh, I found a job on uh, Rogers. The only reason I could not apply for that was I was still studying <laughs> and I could not work full time. And Rogers was hiring digital project junior, digital junior project manager at that time experience from zero to three and uh, i mean there are jobs everywhere for project managers right now and then you can also go into it it has a lot of jobs and talking about uh, project managers schedulers one of the biggest area and most selling area for project managers in canada is construction mm -hmm. a lot of people do not know about that but that's where the real bamboo that I studied is implemented a lot. Like in civil and uh, in construction, they use it a lot. I mean, they have everything planned and it just works according to that. So there are a lot of options that you can take up and a lot of job opportunities. You just need to grab them. Uh, that's the only suggestion I can give to anyone who's pursuing project managing, managing uh, studies. 
What was your reason uh, for studying international business management after one year of project management? For for uh, IBM, one of the biggest reason was 